Final Fantasy VII came out in November 1997, it was actually the first Final Fantasy game to be released in Europe. I didn't play it until 2000, after Final Fantasy VIII and just before Final Fantasy IX came out. I wasn't a huge fan of the series yet, but I know I liked Shining Force and Pokemon. I liked Guardians Crusade and Jade Cocoon. So I was definitely a fan of the RPGs already. More importantly, it was around one month after my dad took his own life. I was 13 years old. The age where the little daddy's girl which I was needed him the most to help me make sense of the world. My mom, she went to pieces. As much as she tried, she couldn't help me come to terms with how my life is never going to be the same now. About what happened and how I'm supposed to just carry on somehow. I couldn't take it, I just... I just wanted to go with him. I don't know why he did what he did. I was too young to understand and my mum couldn't talk about it ever. I can't ask either of them now. I'll never know why. <laughs> I remember going shopping with my mum and I, I sheepishly pick up this second hand copy of Final Fantasy 7. I don't ask for it because I figured she'd say no. I know now that at the time when he was really really tight but mum bought it for me. I still have it. It sits proudly on my shelf. Every time I look at it I think of her and I just wish that I could have done more to support her. I played through it over the next few weeks and it changed my life. This is the most important game that I've ever played. Genuinely. I don't think I'd be here talking to you now if not for this game. At its simplest, it just distracted me for a few weeks, but it also helped me come to terms with all these new existential questions that I had now. again. I haven't played it in well over a decade. It's a long game but it barely wastes any of its runtime. So I'm not gonna waste any time either. My commentary on this might be barely coherent but I'll try my best.
I already have goosebumps. Somehow I'm gonna need to try and get through this. <laughs> let's just let's just go and see. <sighs> see if I can just hold it together. I mean, one good sign about this PS4 version, other than the fact you can now finally. I mean, I'm not going to use the battle boosts that just kind of that turns God mode on, but you can now finally, finally, if you cast your eyes down to the bottom of the screen, you can now finally turn the encounters off <laughs> at will. So that's going to be good. And you can also turn on three times speed if you need to grind, which is also amazing. As far as I'm concerned, this is mandatory <laughs> for JRPGs moving forwards. And it still boggles my mind that they didn't add this to the Pixel Remasters, which I will, I mean, I will remind you came out after this one, by many years after this one. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. I don't understand. But we're past the Pixel Remasters now. Now we're in Final Fantasy VII. Did you see that? Did you see how it smoothly transitioned from the FMV to the game? <laughs> Just so they can make it as cinematic as possible, they do this a lot. And I don't care how bad you might think this game looks. Right now? You didn't see Resident Evil doing pre-rendered backgrounds like that, did you? Even, bef even for the ones released after this game. That's genuinely impressive to me that they managed to transfer, transfer between the gameplay and the FMVs like that this early on into the PS1's lifetime? Like, yeah, the 3D models look like shit, but... <laughs> I mean, I can't defend it, it looks like shit, but that was impressive. Come on, newcomer, follow me! Let's go! We're ex-soldier, we have ice and bolt. It's bolt now, not thunder, we're back to the standard naming of the old games. We need to turn the battle speed up. I'll have goosebumps. 
I just the intro to this game is amazing. Let's go into the venue to config. I'll explain things as they become useful. I don't what's recommended? I don't know, but we're turning the battle speed all the way up. Up is down apparently. You can turn the, the camera angles off if you get really annoyed at how <laughs> how much time they take, but we'll keep it at auto for now. I may end up turning that off because well I'll rant later. I'll rant later. I need to I need to enjoy. I need to just enjoy for a little bit. This does have analog controls, but it's a bit weird. It's like digital analog controls. Not very smooth, so um, you may see a lot of this <laughs> in the game. Biggs! Wow, you used to be in Soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in, one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in Soldier, Jesse. Jesse! But he quit and he's with us now. I didn't catch your name. I am Cloud. <laughs> Cloud, hey, I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell are you all doing? I thought I told you to never move in a group. Our target's the North Macro Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Heck soldier, huh? I don't trust you. And this is Barrett, so we'll be learning a lot. <laughs> we'll be learning a lot about Barrett as we go. Press the directional buttons while pressing circle to run. Yeah, I figured that out. Look at the transition to FMV. <laughs> Amazing. So, the elephant in the room, the fact that it's 3D now, I mean that's fine, I'm all up for 3D games. The only thing I don't like that they added in these 3D games is there's a lot more waiting in the battle scenes now. It's gotta be all flashy with camera angles and animations. So at the start and end of every battle there's like more of a wait now. Which, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but I, I believe that it's a detriment from the old games. The old games are a lot more snappy. I'll secure our escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Interesting fact on on the remake of this game, which I'm sure we'll get to down the line at some point. Wedge is voiced by Badger from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Jeez, we're really going to blow the huge furnace up. This will be something to see. But I'm sure we'll get to the remake in, in, in good time, about 16 years from now. Yo, it's your first time in a reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture, let's just do it. Alright, you come with me from now on. Oh, the characters just kind of phase into each other. 
after every cutscene. I mean, they did that on the old games as well. But yeah, it's it's a bit weird <laughs> in 3D. Code deciphered. Also, I'll gush, I'll gush about the music later. Think how many of our people risk their lives just for this code. Also, you can turn a finger on enough <laughs> in case you need to figure out where the exits are. I feel like that's a concession from playtesting. It puts little red arrows at where the doors are. Because obviously the... The environments are a little more... A little more complex now. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life. Then that'll be that. Not my problem. The planet's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. music <laughs> you're gonna be hearing it a lot press x in front of a ladder to grab onto it then use the directional buttons to climb up and down do nowadays. I don't think it's as overpowered as it was on on Final Fantasy 6, that's for sure. Still pretty powerful compared to their attacks though. Question mark things, they're the save points. Also, if you run away, you can undo the back attacks. <laughs> they kept that in there. Oh, we get limit breaks. Every time you take damage, your limit bar fills up. And then you get to do a super powerful limit break. Really quick, 
It's like instant. That'd be nice. I'm just to memory as well. So you get one accessory, weapon and arm. And one accessory, which we don't have any of right now. Those slots we'll talk about later. No more quick saving though. <laughs> so that's gone. You're going to have to be really careful <laughs> with bosses and whatnot. I received the restore materia. Well, again, we'll talk about materia in a little bit. We don't even have it unlocked yet. When we blow this place, it ain't going to be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Watch out! This isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Heads up, here it comes! We got our first boss! Scorpion bro! You see, you see how everything just takes a little bit longer than it did before? chance to keep up with it though. Not like that stupid tentacle fight from Final Fantasy 6 which unfortunately you didn't get to see. Where I just couldn't keep up with it at all. I also like how you have little health bars under the HP now because I'm stupid and I can't add up. <laughs> so now I know how much, people, how much HP people really have. At like a glance. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's not great. Just to say, just to say, use big shots. Attack while its tail's up. It's going to counter-attack with its laser. Although you do, it's not like a huge amount of damage and it does kind of give you your limit breaks really quick. And then we just wait. That's one way of doing it. That's what I like about the limit, the limit break system is you get to take risks to get your limit break bar up like that do lots of damage. I mean for the most part the gameplay hasn't really changed that much from 6. It's kind of a Standard straight up improvement. Come on, let's get out of here. Ten minutes to detonation. One second. <laughs> Give you the assault gun. In terms of stats, they're pretty equal, really. I think Cloud is kind of just like an all-rounder kind of guy. And she has a surprisingly high magic stat. That 
was still counting down while I was messing around, so let's get out of here. Weird about music. <laughs> Oh, I need to remember I've got the cursor set to memory. I actually don't think I like that. I was going to see if I could get used to it, but I don't think I like it. But we'll mess with that in a minute. Game's like eerily quiet. <laughs> There's definitely supposed to be music here. You alright? My leg got stuck. Thanks. Grab onto it, Cloud. You can do it. There we go. Weird about music. I need to restart it or something. I don't think it kicks back in soon. I don't think it's going to. <laughs> Jesse sure likes falling over. There we go, we blew up one of the reactors. Because we are avalanche, we are eco-terrorists. I should keep the planet going, at least a little longer. Yeah. Okay, now everyone get back. Alright, now let's get out of here. 
Rendezvous at six or eight station. Split up and get on the train. Uh, hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. There's the music, and it's this song as well. The soundtrack's incredible, by the way. It's like some of the best. Excuse me. What happened? Don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. Oh, thank you. Here you are. It's the lady from the cutscene at the start. I mean, for 1997 and the first 3D game that this team worked on. <laughs> Sorry, but it looks great. I'm so I can't think about this game objectively. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's not going to be an objective thought for the next like 50 hours. I'm afraid. <laughs> it is impossible for me to look at it objectively. It's just one of those games for me. Everything is perfect and exactly how it should be. Especially the music. So what the hell's going on? Wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet, Avalanche. Hey, you there. Halt! That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling, grab him. Cloud never came. Cloud, think he was killed? No way! Cloud. Hey, do you think Cloud's going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Don't I look like a mind reader? If y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey Barrett, what about our money? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here, making a big scene. No big scene. Just what I always do. Oh, they, they don't have the guts to actually make him swear yet, but I'm just going to say you're saying shit. <laughs> Haven't everyone worried like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm, you were worried about me? What? That's coming out of you, your share, hotshot. Wake up. We're moving out, follow me. Barrett's a big softy, really. We'll do even better next time. Careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. Just let me phase through your arms for a second. <laughs> Say thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. So I don't.
don't think she's as nice to you if you don't help her up. Back during in back when we were inside the reactor. That's train out of sector eight station. That stop is sector seven train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is twelve twenty three a.m. Midgar standard time. So that's the first mention I think. This is Midgar. A big city and it is we'll talk about it more later but Midgar is I guess the most obvious visual metaphor of all time it is a pretty effective obvious visual metaphor but I guess we'll get into that when it becomes relevant this is why I hate the last train oh boy I'm a businessman! Hello! Well, this is my house, so make yourselves at home. Look at the moving backgrounds! Resident Evil didn't have moving backgrounds until like... The GameCube remake! <laughs> you see the headlines in the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bomb the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. They sure some put some thought into this one. They must have had a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Blow up more reactors, probably. I'm acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. The train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Someday, Avalanche is going to be famous. And me too. Hey, Cloud. Want to take a look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together, I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a one ten thousandth scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center. And there are other support pillars built into each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the north northern section. Then there's the number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. This is the route the train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the centre right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train. And is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious so we're using fake IDs. So yeah, this is when Final Fantasy gets a bit more cyberpunky. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now, what a relief. So yeah, this is where Final Fantasy makes its first foray into kind of cyberpunky style. Not a castle to be found. But don't worry, we still have chocobos. <laughs> Please don't bother the other passengers. Look, you can see the surface now. This city don't have no day or night. If that plate weren't there, you could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expect to hear that out of someone like you. You're just full of surprises. The upper world. A city on a plate. It's because of that fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. And the city below is full of polluted air. So yeah, Midgar's kind of on two levels. We've got like the ground level, which is just full of slums where the downtrodden people live. And then literally above them on a big plate, you have all of the rich people. And then the city's just sucking up macro energy to keep it all powered. Like I said, it's a pretty obvious visual metaphor, but you know, it's a good one. Why doesn't everyone just move on to the plate? Dunno. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe. 
because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. Like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Pretty profound. It's kind of talking about like, you know, poor people, they're not born into wealth. They don't really have a choice. You can't like reason your way out of being poor. And this whole idea of just work harder and you'll make it, everyone knows that's bullshit. Get off here, all here. Sorry, one second. Someone's bad mouthing Final Fantasy VI on the internet. I need to read it. Sorry, I was an angry girl. You don't, you don't badmouth my Final Fantasy game. <laughs> he was saying that Final Fantasy VI is like kitty. I, I need to address this because I know that I know that you sent it me. So <laughs> FF7 was probably the best game ever released in its time. VI is meh. Fuck off. Great villain, but way more kid centric. Because you know, war crimes, suicide, cataclysmic events that end the world. People throwing themselves off of cliffs. The sea turning blood red, the sky turning orange. People giving up all hope. A villain turning into a literal cruel god. Basically it's becoming the demiurge. Just a god of just cruelty. <laughs> Fuck off is it kid centric, oh my god. And then he's saying that, oh, it's not fashionable to acknowledge Seven on the internet. Yeah, because that's not the one that people were cr crying out for a remake for, for like 15 years or anything. And then when we got the remake, it was universally loved by everyone. And this is on the top 10 most influential games of all time list, and is known as the best Final Fantasy game of all time. People are dumb, I swear. <laughs> the mission was a success. But don't get lazy now. Uh, the mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't you all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. I mean, Celeste throws herself off a cliff. What is this Sesame Street tier bullshit, right? Meet back at the hideout. Sorry, I'm over it. Meet back at the hideout. Move out. Hello, I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Wow. <laughs> When you've been a trained man as long as I have, you see a lot of people and a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. But 
this way. I don't think I've never been this way before at the start of the game. I can't imagine you can go anywhere. It's the train graveyard. You have to come through here later. This music is incredible, by the way. It's just so moody. It's tone so well. Hello? Hey now! Oops! What on earth are you doing? Just butt out! Jeez! Huh? You came to see it too? There was a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey, check it out! It's huge, ain't it? Yeah, there's like these huge pillars that are holding up the plate above. And obviously because... Because it's a giant plate, the people in the slums, they don't get to see the sky. All of the lighting is artificial. I guess you're not privileged enough to see the sky. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place. You can come here when you want. See you, bro. Yo, Cloud, over here now. Okay, jeez, I was exploring and expositioning. We're about to meet the best girl. Parrot's an angry man. He's <laughs> an angry boy. Hello. Explosions, explosions. Oh man, Avalanche is so cool. Did you hear? No. There's a news update. They said there was a terrorist explosion up above. And that this time it was a macro reactor. You know what this means? No. You see, I keep on top of these things and if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot, of a lot of innocent people got killed too. Yeah, see, it doesn't mean... Like this game, again, I'll get more into this later, but this game has... It's got, it's obviously got an environmental message, that, that much is clear. But it doesn't just paint Avalanche as the good guys. Like, it's more, it's not that black and white. But we'll get more into that a bit later. But it is important that it doesn't just paint this whole thing as black and white. Like, a lot of innocent people have just been killed directly as a result of what we've done. And that ain't about to get any easier. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. See, like, it's not shying away from what we've done. I thought that long blackout was strange. I see a macro reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here, drinking, watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden I get kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? They're probably saying damn, but <laughs> because I'm British, damn isn't really isn't really a curse word. Well ah jeez, I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails, and they sure do creep up on you. I I feel that. <laughs> okay, go on ahead. Are you ready? Oh, the song. <laughs> Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Oh, Tifa's theme. That kind of caught me off guard, sorry. Oh, come on, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Yeah, always. I should have known. <laughs> He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. This is Tifa, the best girl. <laughs> Cloud's childhood friend. Flowers? How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But a flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. So you can either give it to Tifa or give it to Marlene. There's kind of a hidden affection system in the game. But again, we'll talk about it later when we get to it. But there's like a hidden affection system between all of the girls and Barrett <laughs> as well. 
Give it to Tifa. Thank you, Cloud. It smells wonderful. Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. It's a bar. It's not a store, it's a bar. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. Don't be shy! I think this music's going to kill me. Um, <laughs> nothing like that first drink after a job. Why don't you have one too? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here. We'll learn about Soldier later. You're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Mm. Anyway, let me tell you something. Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now, I'm roly-poly. I don't even know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that make me shop make this shop famous. It's a bar. Hey Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. This game's perfect. Papa, welcome home. You alright, Barrett? Great! We've murdered a whole bunch of people. Get in here, fools! We're starting the meeting! <laughs> I like how the hidden hideout is underneath the pinball machine, like imagine that you've come to this bar and you just want to play a game of pinball <laughs> and then that happens. Hello! Sit down! Okay. I love the art style of this game as well, like it's low res like low res backgrounds but everything just looks like perfect little dioramas I really like it how about something to drink yep you know I'm relieved you made it back safely what's with you all of a sudden that job wasn't even tough I guess not you were in soldier Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Cloud, are you feeling alright? Yeah? Why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. That feels like foreshadowing, I've never picked up on that before. Look at the news! What a blast! Think it was all because of my bomb? But all I really did was just make it, like the computer told me. Oh no, I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. President Shinra! Shinra's the bad guys? <laughs> Today, the number one reactor was bombed. The terrorist group Avalanche has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It is expected that Avalanche will continue its reign of terror. But citizens of Midgar, there is no need to fear. I have immediately mobilized soldier to protect our citizenry against this senseless violence. Thank you, and good night. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from soldier fighting us today? None, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If it was anyone from soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you're so bad just because you was in Soldier. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it, that's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. 
don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. Don't worry, Cloud isn't a dick the whole way through. <laughs> Listen Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry Tifa. The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So? You're really leaving? Oh, Tifa. <laughs> oh, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> You're just going to walk right out of ignoring your childhood friend? What? How can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud? It was seven years ago. Look, the well. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. I thought you would never come. Now it's getting a little cold. Sorry I'm late. Little baby cloud with his ponytail. <laughs> you said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring? I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. Well, I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Our first mention of the boy. The boy Sephiroth. Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. If you make it, will you be in the newspaper? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me. Alright? What? Nanny! If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on, promise me. Right, I promise. You remember now, don't you? I promise. I'm not a hero and I'm not famous, but I can't keep that promise. And you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. Barrett, just use the lift. <laughs> Wait a big sec. Wait a sec, big time soldier. A promise is a promise. Here. 1,500 gil. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. What? <laughs> Nanny, it's okay, it's okay. I'm really hurting for help, right? Uh, that money's for Marlene's schooling. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. Sleep, 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 sleep. This game's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I want to punch it. Go 
Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Next to you, who wouldn't? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm going this time. Our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh... I don't really know how to use materia. I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. Okay, I'll explain it. Okay, so this will this will do my job for me. Sure, I'll explain how materia works. First, access the menu. You know, the basic functions. Press the triangle button. Directional buttons. Like this. Select each menu by pressing the cross button. Leave the menu. Press the circle button. Let's go ahead. So the materia is how you get your skills. And it levels up separately using AP. Now look at my weapon here. Each weapon has... Um, each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose which slot you want to put materia in. Now select the materia you want to use. Oh no, there's more Final Fantasy VI rant. This is curative materia. If you want to know what the what its effect is, line the cursor up with check in the menu, and press the cross button. Final Fantasy VI boys back. Sorry, I need to get involved. <laughs> I will not let this stand. Where, where is he? Hold me back, Ben. <laughs> Where the hell is he? Where is he? For people that don't know what's going on, someone is talking shit about Final Fantasy VI saying it's basically like a little kitty game. And he just said that it's like on par with the Lion King. Like the Lion King, you know, the, the fucking Lion King. Where his dad dies and he learns, <laughs> he runs away from his problems and he learns to just let the past go and not let the past define who you are. Which is more of a lesson for adults than it is for kids. What is this guy? <laughs> it's like, if, dude, have you even played these games? <laughs> have you even played these games? Oh my god. It's just like selecting battle commands. Just line the cursor up to magic. You can see that the available magic has increased. That's all there is to whipping materia. How is the Lion King? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> like how can you be so confidently and objectively wrong? <laughs> like, I can't! I can't do it! 
Parts of you may become strong. I'll explain all this in a minute. your physical strength weak <laughs> so essentially materia it gives you it gives you abilities anyone can equip any ability in this game but if you look at the equip effect i'm pointing at the screen like you can see but if you look at the equip effect normally equipping materia it increases your magic and your mp but it lowers your strength and your hp or at least equipping So if you equip magic material, it makes you better at magic, but worse at HP and strength, and normally vice versa. It doesn't make that huge a difference. <laughs> this is so distracting. It doesn't make that huge a difference. To be fair, like, I didn't really know that when I was a stupid little child. I just gave everyone the best materials, but I'm not going to do that this time. Shit, what's this? It wasn't that tough crap. I don't get it. You just handle the material cloud. <laughs> cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. All right, good luck. Okay, so we got Tifa. One of the unfortunate things about this game is you want to get three party members instead of four. I've never really been a huge fan of that, but I'll deal. So let's, let's sort out the material. Which button is it to? Is it? <laughs> which button is it to? Triangle. Okay. So what am I gonna do? What am I doing? <laughs> so I kind of wanted to make Cloud like a Mystic Knight kind of character. So I'm gonna give him, give him Bolt. You're gonna be like a Blue Mage. You're going to be like a white mage monk because she's a monk essentially. Like each character kind of does have a class, like he's a machinist, he's a mystic knight, he's a monk. But it's kind of irrelevant, it's kind of like... Everyone can do everything. Did I give... Did I give... <laughs> come on buttons, come on hands, you can do it. Restore. I'll just keep him ice for now. It's more just visual, is what I'm trying to say. Take care. Is what I'm trying. What right? What I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that the, the, the jobs are just not jobs. It's kind of visual, and everyone can do everything. That's what I'm trying to say. Get it together. You're getting too excited over nothing. Hello. Ah, another slow day. If this keeps up, the store's going under. Can't sell any real good, really good medicine in a slum like this. Oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? I might be. You can buy fire. Okay. That's news to me. I didn't think you got that one for a while. Okay, I'm ready. Let's continue. <laughs> continue on. Hello. Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here. But now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? Toilet. I love these little dioramas, they're awesome.
Hello. Hello, uh, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I don't like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. You, what's happening to you? Is there anyone to listen? What's the use of getting gossip on everyone? Yeah, and you, Mr. I don't care. I'll get a little, a little more information that would pique your interest. You wait and see. Okay. Hey, wait a minute you! You can't just walk out of here without buying something! Might be unhealthy for you if you know what I mean! Three of those for sure! No, no! That's not what I meant to do! In case you were wondering on the shop screens why I never picked a quip, it's because it's not here on the other ones. <laughs> That's the only reason. Dad and I'm stupid. Now we got more material slots to put nothing in. This is slum, so don't think you can stay for free. What are you gonna do? Doesn't just see in the bed make you sleepy? No. <laughs> tough guy, huh? You better sleep when you can. You better save when you can. That's the trick to being tough. Remember that old dude. Okay, I'll remember. Didn't they say the guy in the weapon shop had a surprise for me? Beginner's Hall. You say you're a beginner, but your eyes say you're not. Don't mess with me. I used to be in Soldier. I'll tell you how much I know, and for free, too. I'm not listening to any of this. Bye. something you can pick up oh it is cool hey you got one right off that was materia let's take this treasure chest so the all materia is pretty cool because I'm gonna use it for lightning right now so when you have the all materia so you'll notice that see how those these two slots are linked together if I link an all materia with a lightning materia, it will cast lightning on all enemies. But it will only do it once, because you'll see the stars? That's the level of the materia that you have. So when I level up lightning, for example, I'll get bolt 2 and then bolt 3. And then I believe once you level it up again after that, you get a new lightning materia. Um, with the all, once you max it out, it it's like unlimited uses. So it'll be like 1 use, 2 use, 3 use, 4 use, unlimited uses is how that works. So now I can cast lightning on everyone. Well, I can do it once anyway. It's not like the older games where you just like press in R1 or whatever and then it, and it like goes on everyone. This ain't no private car, so spill up hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck. You say something? I said, you say something? Now look 
at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It's it's empty because of guys like you. Well, you've seen the news, right? Avalanche said there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? <laughs> Shit, you lucky. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do now? The hell are you so calm? You're busting up my rhythm. Looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So, what's our next target? <laughs> Since we're Mr. Serious about his work. Alright, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan that's checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've only got three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. Alright, in three minutes we're jumping off this train. Got it? Wow, oh, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Okay. Hello. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Looks like you've seen this already. It's alright, come a little closer. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Taipei security alert! Unidentified passengers confirmed! A search of all cars will be conducted! Repeat! Taipei security alert! Unidentified passengers confirmed! The search of all cars will be conducted! What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car! Let's go! Keep it up! Clear? Not yet. They're starting another check if we caught. We're done for. But don't worry. If you move up the train car by car, we should get past it. Give me back my money, dick. This way. Let's go. We're going to dive out of here. Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? Because. Hey, you two. There ain't no time for that. It's accurate. Watch closely. I'm going to jump. You don't care if I go first? I need to always stay to the end. Don't worry about me, just go. Later, you take care of the rest. Everything's going as planned. Don't let your guard down till we get to Sector 5 Reactor. Big sweat, Jesse. Got everything ready for us, so move it. The reactor's just down this tunnel. Those light beams are the Shimmer's security sensors. We can't go any further. 
That's one damn tiny hole. You telling me to squeeze into that to get us under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna look inside. Doesn't seem to be anything that'll get us stuck in this duct. Okay, but if we go down this duct, you won't be able to come back. Don't be wasting time. You never know when Shinra will find us. But damn man, that thing gives me the chills. Let's go! I'd say the game gets harder than this, but it, it doesn't. <laughs> no, that's not fair, it does. Especially the super bosses, they're pretty crazy. That. I don't I don't expect that that's intentional. Wait, because I keep thinking I'm pressing attack when I'm not. I'm not going to get rid of all these years of muscle memory. I'm sorry. I know that cursor memory is objectively correct, but not for me. Can I turn the music down a bit? Really loud in my headphones. Now suddenly too quiet on the game? I'll just turn it up here. There we go! I don't know. I'm on the capture card, so I don't really know how loud it actually is. Hi, Wedge! Well, this way, the reactor's up this ladder. Okay, then I'm going this way. <laughs> That's better, it's not deafening anymore. room working on it. Can you do that? I'm gonna go this way.
Then I'm gonna go this way, because it looks like I'm going the right way. I wanna explore. I might turn off the battles while I explore, because I really don't want to make this game even easier than the other years. Battles. You see how awesome this is? <laughs> you can also speed the game up if you're really bored. Ooh. We'll do that though. Oh, okay, it just leads around in a circle, never mind then. Battles on! <laughs> up at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. oil or something? Excessive way down, like quite dangerous. <laughs> you have to like jump across and steal girders and beams. But Shinra don't care about health and safety. This truly is a capitalist nightmare. Safe points on this game, which I do like. A bit few and far between in the older games for me. But then you do spend a lot more time on the world map where you can save anywhere, so. Oh, Cloud's having a migraine again! to you? Zephyroth, Soldier, Macro Reactors, Jinra? I hate them all! Damn man, get a hold of yourself! You alright? Aoife? Hmm? No, forget. Come on, let's hurry. <laughs> if 
Gotta save it again. <laughs> Sorry, I have this affliction where I have to save it every time I see a save point. Especially after what happened in Final Fantasy VI, I should probably make a backup as well. I might actually turn off cinematic camera angles because they're kind of making me a bit queasy. <laughs> they're very jerky. So Tifa's limit break, you kind of use a slot machine. Which is cool. I forget if this game has rows on it or not. I don't think it does. Oh, it does, okay. Um, everyone's on the front row though. I mean, Barrett can go on the back row, right? Um, what's your status? Pretty low all around for now. My clout, because the stats are randomized on each playthrough. Like, a little bit randomized anyway. Um, my cloud got a lot of magic and spirit. It's just kind of all around. Like I say it's kind of negligible, the stats. Unless you're like really min-maxing, you don't really have to worry about them. Just kind of go with what you think is cool. sure the pie symbol represents something, I don't know. Did they put it there just because they think it looks cool? It's kind of weird to be playing a Final Fantasy game where I'm not just staring at the minimap and looking for the treasure chest. Also, look at um, look at Cloud's ATB when he gets his next turn because he got a limit break while he's on a turn. His ATB is going to charge like super fast the next time. Also, in terms of the turn order, the turn order limit breaks always go first as well. It's not really worth saving them for bigger fights because it charges so fast anyway and you unlock limit breaks. You unlock the levels of the limit breaks the more than you use them. Yes, he said we have to push all the buttons at once. Eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>
Look at you. Not to taste. It's kind of implied that Shinra are using beasts as guards. That makes more sense later on as well. I'll probably forget to call it out, but yeah, Shinra like experiment on animals and stuff as well. They're just all around not very good guys. This way. Shinra soldiers? Shit, what the hell's going on? A trap. Pre president Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm. So you must all be... what was it? Avalanche! And don't you forget it! Your president Shin Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see? Oh, you. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako. From the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name. Unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is going up a big bang soon. Serves you all right. Such a waste of good fireworks just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'll make you king vermin. You're beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangements as a playmate for you all. What's that noise? What the hell is that? Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapons development department created him. I'm sure the data you'll extract from your dead bodies will have great use to us in future experiments. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. This is from Soldier? No way, it's just a machine. I don't care what it is, I'm gonna bust him up. Did some damage. I think Barrett might die, but that did some damage. Oh, very close. Right, who's dead? Is it Barrett? I bet it's Barrett.
Turn function non-operational! Hooray! <laughs> He's dying now! That's not good enough. <laughs> Oh, let's go Tifa! Alright, can't you do something? Not a damn thing! Cloud, please don't die! You can't die! There's still so much I want to tell you! I know Tifa! Shit! Can't hold on much longer! Barret, hurry! Don't go crying- Ooh! Don't go crying like a woman! There ain't nothing I can do for you! You gotta do it on your own! Barret! Okay, hold on! You alright? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Don't worry about yourself now. I'll try. Oh, it moved. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. Hello? Hello? Hey, who are you? Hello? You okay? Sorry, the music's making me emotional again. You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I came crashing down. The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. Oh, lucky. Flower bed? Is this yours? Sorry about that. That's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar, but for some reason they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. So, we meet again. Don't you remember me? Yeah, the flower girl. You were the slum drunk! <laughs> Excuse me, but you're really rude. But I forgive you, and you bought flowers from me. Say, hey, do you have any materia? Yes, some. Nowadays you can find materia anywhere, but mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are meeting again. Oh, I see. I wonder whose fault that is. It's not easy to grow them, you know. Poor flowers.
just a little longer. Oh. Now that you mention it? We don't even know each other's names, do we? My name is Aerith. Aerith? No, no. Screw that mistranslated bullshit. I can remember the alphabet. Her name is Aerith, not Aries. The mistranslation. Um, her, her name's supposed to like kind of sound like Earth. The whole, that's the whole idea. It's got mistranslated to Ares, and yeah, that's not her name. I'm Aerith, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. I'm surprised I didn't fix that in the... Because this is the retranslation, I think. I'm surprised I didn't fix it. My name's Cloud. Me? I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades? Yeah, I do whatever's needed. That's so funny. What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Ominous. Sorry, bad timing on my part. Cloud, don't let it get to you. Hey Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here, take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? I don't know who you are, but you don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy. Reno, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. The exit is back there. They were Mako eyes. Yeah, all right. Come on, get to work. Oh. You don't step on the flowers. You just stepped on them yourself. You're ruined. You're going to catch holy hell. So we've got Aerith now. He's like a white mage kind of character. My brain will work. He has like the highest magic stat of any character, I think. Like generally. Which means we should give us some magic material, shouldn't we? Yeah, we also picked up the Titan Bangle, so let's give that to you. Give you an Iron Bangle. Let's give you Restore and Ice. There they are, over there! Cloud, that one! I know, looks like they aren't going to let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Aerith, this way! Alright, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The agent is getting away! Attack! Aerith! Think we killed him? They never should have fought us. Cloud, help! Damn. What's that? Eat barrel! minute. 
Uh, uh. <laughs> Oops. Cloud, what are you doing? You're okay, Aerith. It's just one god. You'll be okay. You're like really strong. Well, apparently the god's now a doggo. That's weird. You know how strong she is? Remind me to turn off the cinematic angles. I kind of find it really distracting. Once I can anyway. There we go. Config! Hit. They get better in later games, but in this one, yeah, it's a bit jarring. We have to fight things up here? Oh, it's the little hedgehog boys. Hedgehog pie. <laughs> There we go, it's more like a classic Final Fantasy now. I can actually see what's going on. are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. They're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Buying, murder, you know. They look like it. But why are they after you? Must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be in soldier. Maybe you do. You want to join? I don't know. I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. Some sick parkour. Any second now. <laughs> Slow down. Don't leave me. Funny. I thought you were cut out to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible. Hey, Cloud. Were you ever in soldier? I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes, they have a strange glow. That's a sign of those that have been infused with Mako, the mark of soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before they come.
that guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he only answers of uh or ah. If you have Walmart market, yep. Oh yeah, then maybe I should have you pick up something for me next time you're there. Oh, we're gonna hear all about Walmart market. This guy is sick. <laughs> they fixed it. Normally she says this guy are sick. He passed out nearby and someone must have helped him here. This is the one. Won't you help him? Listen, I'm no doctor. No, I guess not. Hey, that man has a tattoo. I think it's the number two. Nope. The mark in the slums of Sector 6. They've got everything you can ever want there. If you can get there, that is, that road's something else. Doggo! Um, hello? Out of my way, move! You want something? Move into the store. Okay. Yeah, so like these slums, they're, they're making the best of a bad situation, right? Like, look at these shanty towns. What am I doing? I'm walking around looking at the ground. You find a lot of things people drop when you look down. You never find them when you're looking up, right? Is that a metaphor? Oof. Yeah, like all these like hollowed out cars and slums. Hello. Yeah, the Titan Bangle, put that on you. Unequip the material. Did not. Oh, smart. <laughs> Everything President Shimmer says is a lie, but you can't trust that avalanche or whatever you call them. You can bat it around all you like, but it comes down to wanting to live like the people up there. And who do I believe in? Myself. Me. I never lie to myself, that's for sure. Now for the news. A terrorist attack by the group called Avalanche has parts of Midgar temporarily out of power, but they will be restored momentarily. Following President Shimmer's address, Mayor Domino also spoke out today against Avalanche. Plug plug. Now no one will find it. Top drawer. And the bottom one. Five gil from a child. <laughs> Hello. Rich enough for 99 high potions just yet. I don't care if it's scrap metal or material, you can get anything here in the slums. Got a lot of good material over here, why don't you get over? Having another restore material might be useful, but yeah, it's all very expensive for now. Maybe later. Is his house. I don't know why she gets to have so much land, but <laughs> this is where she lives. It's quite pretty and beautiful. Got an ether and some materia here. The cover materia, which we're going to give to Cloud. So it gives him 20% cover, which is just, you know, the usual protects the allies when attack, but it gives him one extra vitality as well.
and we'll leave it there, I guess, for the first episode. This is going to be good, I think. I can't wait to carry on with this. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.